morning everyone, it's Tuesday the 25th of February I think. It's my last full day sadly in this paradise but what to do. I think the plan is today we're going to head towards the eastern part of Barbados and climb up this small hill called Mount Chalk I think. Hopefully I can get some good photos slash panoramic clips and yeah. I'm um, really hungry at the moment right now, so I think the first port of call is to get some breakfast. See you guys in a bit. You're feeling cosy? Nice and cosy. Very cosy. I'm on the bus towards Bridgetown right now. I wouldn't really call it a bus, it's more of a minivan. And it's public bus in. So at the bus stop, and someone thought that this guy was my dad even though I'm older. As you can see, Chalky Mount is in the northeastern corner of Barbados. If you, if you aren't renting a car, then there's only two real ways of getting there. One is either by getting a taxi, which can work out to about $200 for a return trip, or you can get a bus from Fairchild Bus Terminal in Bridgetown. From the bus terminal, you can get the 5C bus, which takes you straight up to Chalky Mount, and along the way, you see, you'll see some amazing views, the clips of which will follow. So we've just got off the bus at Chalky Mount Village. Um, I don't know if you can see, but the Atlantic Ocean is just out there. Trying to find a way to get to the hiking trail that takes us to the top of the actual Chalky Mount Hill. But currently we're a bit lost. What do you think we should do? Carry on walking? Keep walking down the road? Let's go back to the road. Yeah, we think that that is the highest point, but who knows? We need to find a way up and it doesn't look that accessible. So we found some form of track now. Hopefully this leads us to the top. Whilst we're walking up the track, we found this glorious view. Let's make the view. Seven out of 10, seven out of 10. <laughs> I don't know, see for yourself and give it your own rating. I'd say 6 out of 10. Wow. What do you mean? I didn't struggle. So we've run out of path. I'm currently freestyling it a bit. Our aim is to get just beyond those trees and hopefully we should get an amazing view of the ocean. So we've kind of made it to the top but we saw this amazing view along the way. I, don't know. I think this is a much better view than before. So yeah, we've definitely gone off the path a little bit but views are amazing. Just a little bit more to go to get to the top where Muz is already. Muz wave. So we've made it to the top. Yeah, we've got 360 meters of the whole island from here. I'd say 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. To be honest, this isn't actually the top. The top is just across us, but there's a massive valley in front of us. So I'll show you guys in a second. So yeah, we get you get 360 degrees views from this viewpoint. You see the east coast. You can see the north coast in the distance up there, it's including the island of Fowl Cave, that we visited a couple of days ago, and the rest of the island. This whole area is also pretty flat, so it's a nice area to just chill for a bit, and relax. So in this clip, the wind was really, really bad to the point where you couldn't even hear what both of us were saying. But essentially, what we were discussing was that. 
But the hike took about half an hour and it wasn't too difficult. There was a few tricky bits, especially when we went off the path. And I guess it is a bit tricky in the sense that there is no real signs. But overall, it's a relatively easy climb and it should be manageable for most people. We're at the Omerta Sports Bar in Mount Chalky, oh sorry, Chalky Mount. The views here are amazing. Check them out now. Hey guys, back at the hotel now. If you ever get a chance, you have to visit Chalky Mount. It's such an amazing little group town. I don't know if you can even classify it as town, more of a village, but people there are so nice and welcoming and a motor sports bar. I hope I'm saying that right. It's an amazing little place. Views there are uh, insane. And if you ever get a chance, go there, grab a drink or two. I think you can get the 5B or 5C bus from Bridgetown. But yeah, grab the bus, go there, worth it. I think we're back, I think the plan now for the rest of the evening is to just chill, relax for a bit and then maybe go and grab some food later if we're hungry. Mm -hmm. 